Hey guys, more Bleaky here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can make a simple enemy patrol system in both 2D and 3D in which they will move through a series of points from one to another and will loop through these points forever. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy and let's get started. Apologies if I sound a little bit different, I'm a little bit ill at the moment so I have a bit of a block nose. But anyway, in this scene as you can see I have a main camera, a directional light, a simple ground object and then I have a little enemy and this enemy is simply a sphere with a sphere collider. So now before we set up any scripts, the first thing we need to do is create some simple patrol points. These points are going to be points in the map that we want our enemy to patrol through. And when it gets to the M1, we want it to go all the way back to our first one. So what I'm going to do is right click in the hierarchy, go to 3D objects and then sphere. And I'm just going to call this waypoint. I'm going to zero this out on all axes. And then I'm just going to drag this out a little bit like that. And you can see this is my game screen right here. So that can be our first point. I'm then going to grab this and copy and paste it and then drag it over here. Then this can be our second point. And then I'm going to copy and paste it one more time and just drag it over here. So if you're copying me, your game screen should look something similar to this with an enemy in the middle of your three enemy patrol points. Now I'm using spheres so we can see where the waypoints actually are. Of course, if you don't want this, feel free to just create an empty and use this as your waypoint. Or alternatively, if you're doing it like this, you can just disable your mesh renderer just like this. So without further ado, let's jump into making a script. So select your enemy, go to add component and type in enemy patrol. So we're gonna create a few variables to get started. Firstly, we need to create an array. So we're gonna do public transform and then we're gonna use open and close square brackets so it is an array. And then we're gonna call this patrol points. An array is essentially a group or multiple of an object. So we can drag in all three of our waypoints into this one variable slot. I'm then gonna create an integer with public int target point. This number is going to represent which patrol point we want our enemy to go to next. And finally, let's just do public float for speed just so we can control how fast our enemy moves. So what we want to do first, just to be safe, is we want to set target point equal to zero. We want it to start at zero. By default, this integer will be zero in the editor anyway, but we're going to do it in our start function just for good practice. So the first thing we want to do is write some code so we can set the position of our game object to move towards a point in our game. So let's do transform dot position equal to vector three dot move towards. Now vector3.move towards is a very simple function we can use to move transforms in our game. With our first vector3 being our current position, we want to move from. So that is going to be our transform.position, so our current position. And then our target position is going to be patrol points. And then let's do the open and closed square bracket because without it, we will get an error because we need to reference which number in the array we are referencing. So just for testing, all I'm going to do is zero. And then we need to reference the position. Now we're going to change this when we go back into our script. But what we want to do is test this line first to make sure our object is going to move towards the first waypoint. So finally, now it's looking for a float, which is going to be our speed. So let's do speed times time dot delta time. So our object will move at the same speed regardless of the frame rate. Back in our editor, if we select our enemy, you can see we've got a bunch of new stuff in our enemy patrol script now. We've got our patrol points, which as you can see, it is an array. We then have that target point, which is set to zero in our start function. And then we have our speed variable. So right off the bat, we want to drag all three of our waypoints into our array. But if we try to do this and select, we will be taken off the inspector for the enemy. So let's go to our enemy. And in the top right, let's press this little lock button. This means we can now deselect our enemy and it will continue to inspect the enemy. So now I can click on one of my waypoints and shift click on the other one. It will drag all waypoints in between. I can then drag these into our array here. And you can see we have element 0, 1, and 2. Now, if you was confused as to why I put 0 here instead of 1, that's because if you don't know, when working in Unity, you need to think of 1 as 0. As when it comes to things like arrays, the first number is always 0, which is exactly what it says here. So now let's set the speed to something like 4. And now if we look at this first waypoint, which is this one right here, our enemy object should go directly to this waypoint. So now I can unlock this inspector. Make sure maximize on play is decent. Selected. and with our waypoint selected let's press play and we should see our enemy go to our waypoint and you can see it does just that but after that absolutely nothing happens as we've added no other functionality to do so so now back in our script what we want to do is check when our enemy object reaches the waypoint and when it does we want to set the enemy's target to be the next waypoint in line i'm going to create a new void down here call it increase target int for integer open and close bracket and then let's open this up. And all we're going to do, we're going to access our target point int, and we're just going to do plus plus semicolon. So it's a very simple way of just incrementing this target point value by one. So now in our update function, we're going to look for an if statement. We're going to check to see where our enemy's position is. So we're going to do if transform dot position is equal to patrol points zero dot position. I'm going to open this up, and then we can just pass in this function. Increase 
target int, open and close bracket, and semicolon. So in our update function, we're moving our enemy towards the first patrol point. And then here we're checking if the enemy reaches that patrol point, let's set the target point from zero to one. Now, if we test this in the editor, you're gonna see some very weird results in regard to our variables here. And you'll see why, but for now, let's just test this out. So you can see our enemy reaches this point, and our target point just absolutely flies into the moon, which is obviously not what we want. But why is this happening? Well, that's because update is checking for this every single frame. So that means the whole time our enemy is at the first waypoint, every frame it is gonna increase our target point by one. And now the reason this is happening every frame is because what we've done here is we've just put zero into the array. So by changing this target point variable, it's not actually doing anything because we haven't used this target point in anywhere. And now we're gonna change that. Instead of moving our enemy towards the first patrol point, we're gonna set it to moving towards whatever the target point number is. And we're gonna do the same here. So what this means is where our target point starts at zero, our enemy is gonna to move towards this first waypoint. It is then gonna check for when our enemy reaches that first waypoint. When it does, it will set our target point to one. Target point is now being used here. So this means our enemy will now move towards our second waypoint, which means this is no longer true. So it will only increase by one for the one frame that this statement is actually true. And then when it gets to the second waypoint, this will be true again. This will increase from the number one to the number two. And our enemy will then be going towards our third waypoint and we will be checking for our third waypoint here. And now we can test this. You can see our enemy goes from the first one to the second one and then to the third one. But when we get to the third one, you can see we're having a slight error here. And by slight error, I mean over a thousand. And you can see the error we're getting is index was outside the bounds of the array. Now, the reason that we're getting that error is because target point is being set to longer than the length of our patrol points array, which means you will always get that error. We are trying to access a number in the array that doesn't exist. So we need to find a way to prevent that. And coincidentally for us, the way to prevent that is setting the target point back to zero, which is what we want to do anyway. So we're going to do this underneath where we increase our target point. We're going to check for an if statement. We're going to do if our target point is bigger than or equal to the length of our patrol points. So we do patrol points dot length. So if this is true, let's make our enemy go back to the first waypoint so we do target point is equal to zero and now we can test this in the editor it will go to our first waypoint our second waypoint and finally our third waypoint and it will go right back to the first one again and it will infinitely loop between all three of these points and what is great about this system is i could drag one of our waypoints here and i can move this in real time and you can see wherever i move it our enemy will actually move towards it in real time as well and then the minute it gets there it will just ignore this one and I can move it wherever I want and our enemy does not care until this becomes a target waypoint again. And what's great about this is I can add as many waypoints as I want. And as long as I add all of those waypoints to the array, it will just infinitely loop between them until it reaches the last one and it will be set back to one again. Just like I have here, I have a bunch of waypoints. It is just switching between them as it reaches it and it will literally do this forever. In regard to the code we use in today's video, this will also work in 2D as well. If you're having any issues with it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you're liking the content or you want to get some of the scripts from these videos, I have a Patreon you can check out in the description. If you have a tutorial you want to request, I have a form also in the description. And finally, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. So guys, I will thank you all very much for watching today's tutorial and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.